Hi, someone asked me for a list of all the VSTs that I use, and I don't have a problem giving out that list, but keep in mind that individual talent, uh, your natural ability for music, how much time you're willing to put into something, those all probably play a bigger role than your software. Your software is only going to get you so far. Just because you have good software does not mean you're going to make good music. So keep that in mind before you take any of this you know, to heart. Um, I'm not going to discuss anything that has or that comes with uh, the FL Studio package because if you have FL Studio you already have those. Um, I'm only going to discuss outside VSTs. So yeah, um, if you're interested in any of them you can go look for them yourself. I'm not going to discuss any of them in depth. I'm just going to tell you. So yeah, Absinthe 5. Rob Papin or Papins or whatever. Yeah, Rob Papin's Albino. Rob Papin Blue. DSK Acoustic Keys. Everything that's a DSK is free, so I'll put a link up for it. Uh, I don't really use these much anymore, but they are good, and I did used to use them a long time ago. FM8. Synapse Junglist. Contact 4. Native Instruments Core Player. Magnus Choir. REFX Nexus 2. Native Instruments Massive. This VST is literally too massive for FL Studio. I don't know what's up with that. Synthway Organux. Piano Tech. That's actually what I use pretty much exclusively for my pianos now is this one because it's very, very good. Pro 53. This was made by a new grounder called Sorrow Hanro. Uh, it's free, so I'll put a link up for it. Uh, it has a bunch of pretty cool sounds in it, and I haven't used it much because it's brand new, but the sounds that I've heard I do like, and I do plan on using them. Silent One. Novation V Station. RFX Vanguard. And Zeta. My effects I use Amplitude 3. Bit Crusher is free. Boot EQ MK2 is a pretty good. EQ VST thing and it's free so I'll put a link up for it. Camel Crusher Distortion. Camel Fat Distortion and Filters and Compressors and whatever the hell magic EQs are. CK Pitch Shifter. It's a free pitch shifting thing that has a lot of cool parameters although the color scheme is horrible because everything is white or gray. It's really hard to see. Deep Blue Glitch. Effectrix, very similar to Deep Blue Glitch, but it costs money, so that's why I think it's not as popular, but in my opinion, it's a little more powerful than Deep Blue. Or, sorry, Glitch. I actually was contacted by that guy. He said that it's actually not... It shouldn't be referred to as Deep Blue, because, because that's his artist's name. It should be referred to as Glitch. But I don't, I'm just so used to calling it Deep, not Deep Blue. Uh, Glace Verb is a really awesome reverb plugin. Isotope Ozone 4. Also, Glaceverb is free, so I will put a link for it. Um, Isotope D Clicker. Isotope D Clipper. Isotope D Noiser, which is pretty cool. And Isotope Hum Removal. Omicide Distortion. Predatome. Quadrifies, the cool distortion. T Rex for mastering. And Tridirt, the distortion. Those are pretty much everything I use. I have a lot of the stuff from Waves and Sunalxis and MDA. MDA is all free, I'm pretty sure, and it 
they've designed it so it works in FL. I'm pretty sure this is the one I got from Newgrounds for free, so I'll put a link up for that. There's a thread full of free VSTs on Newgrounds, so if you're interested in a bunch of free stuff, that's where to go. But pretty sure that's everything I use. I probably missed something, but it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, that's everything. Keep in mind, software does not make you a Mad Pro. If you have Mad Pro software, you are not Mad Pro. So yeah, that's it. Peace out, Cecil Nomad.